Welcome to day five. Today we're going to actually go over three lots. First of all, EMB series, then reshade, and finally EMB helper. So the first one is EMB, which doesn't really have a particular definition for the name. So to get it, go to embdev.com, click news, go to download in the top right, scroll down, find the game you are managing, Skyrim Special Edition, click it, and download the highest version. For Reshade, you will find it at reshade.me. Go ahead and click download. Click download reshade and it should have a version number in it. Save it. For ENB helper, you can download this with Mod Manager or you can download it manually. I'm going to go ahead and download with Mod Manager. Now, go to your downloads folder. First of all, for reshade, go ahead and double click reshade. Click run. Go ahead and click. go ahead and scroll down to where you find Skyrim SE. Go ahead and click use selected application. It is a D3 10. It is a D3 DX10 11 12 game, not D3 D9, OpenGL or Vulkan. So go ahead and click that. Allow it to install the defaults. Click OK. And it will take a few seconds. Close Reshade. You can now delete the installer or keep it around. I'm going to delete it. This process is the same for all three mod managers. Now, here's the These files should be reshade.ini, dxgi.dll, dx d3dx9 underscore 42 dot log and the reshade shaders folder. Click control X on your keyboard, create a new folder in your downloads folder, name it reshade. Go ahead and right click on the reshade folder, click add to reshade. Next part. EMB Series Skyrim. Go ahead and right click, extract to. If you use Cortex, also extract EMB Helper, otherwise leave it. In Cortex, click Add, New Mod from Folder. Select Folder. Select Reshade. Click OK. Add new mod from folder again. Select EMB series. Select folder. Click OK. Add new mod from folder one last time. EMB helper. Select folder. OK. So select EMB series. Right click mod files location. Delete EMB series SDK and URL. Go into the wrapper version folder. Copy the EMB series file, the two DLLs, to the top folder. Delete all the other files. Enable all th If you are using MO2, this one's rather simple. Go ahead and double click to install EMB helper. Select OK. Check EMB helper. Close, go to the game folder, and the downloads folder. Go ahead and select the two DLLs in the EMB series folder. Drag and drop to the game folder, not the data directory. Go to the reshade folder, drag and drop to the Skyrim direct, the game folder, not the data directory. If you use Vortex Mod Manager, Go ahead and install ENB Helper as normal. Click the drop down beside ENB Series, switch to Disabled, repeat with the reshade.7zip folder you created. 
Go to your mod folder, open EMB series, delete the zip archive and the URL, go to the wrapper, copy the three files, delete the rest, go to the reshade folder, create a new folder called reshade shaders, copy the shaders and the textures folders into that folder, go into the reshade folder that Vortex created, drag to the top, and delete the reshade folder. Double click on EMB series, change mod type to EMB, go to reshade and change mod type to EMB, click to enable both. Allow Vortex to deploy, and you should now be able to run the game with